Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Bloons Super Monkey 2. So, uh, just doing here a quick video about uh, what I have learned from this game. Quickly going through the leaderboards, so as you can see here, I have two tomorrow. I'm gonna play again the Stormy Chaos to str try to get at least gold, uh, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Uh, and then I'm barely keeping diamond here. I'm just two positions away here. <laughs> Three actually to get gold. Uh, so hopefully in the last 14 hours that are left until the challenge ends, I'm gonna be able to keep diamond. And then I'm pretty comfortable here in this one though. Uh, so that's one thing. Second thing, uh, let's go to the achievements. So not considering the daily missions or the achievements, I got almost everything done. But of course, all the 75 medals are not going to be possible because uh, at least until now, there are only 68 levels. So you can't get more of that. Probably in the next upgrades is going to be something like, something like that. They're gonna unlock the other get uh, the other levels. Uh, I reach blow up till you drop uh, the five one. So collect one hundred percent of red blobs in fifty levels. Um, I recommend to achieve this uh, to get this achievement to use the magnet, especially at level four. So ranked out at maximum. The range is unlimited, so you automatically collect all the blobs in the level, uh, like uh, a bloom vacuum. So, and then of course I've I have all of the dart, uh, storm, boomerangs, magic, ice bombs, and energy badges that I need to get because well, I. Go only I only play with the same uh, stuff but as you can see here I got everything else done and uh, just talking about here the hidden uh, achievements I got I think 11 unlocked uh, so for example here as you can see someone six Alice you can find all of the hidden achievements in the internet if you search for them so uh, I'm not gonna do every single one of them here, but yeah, I think I missed three of them. There are 14 in total. And then what else can I do here? Well, in the, um, the research here, uh, if you have started the game, uh, if you're new to the game, I recommend here to get as soon as you can the shield suppression the shield suppression to level 12 so to the maximum upgrade i think is the most um urgent thing you have to do in this game because balloon shields can be really really frustrating and annoying and they can make you lose instead of uh well having less medals getting everything bronze or silver instead of getting gold so I recommend that and then really it depends on what you build so for example that I went energy and boomerangs I upgraded first the energy then boomerangs then upgraded the dart then I think uh, yeah upgraded bombs then ice storm and magic for last so well uh it depends on what you use to what you need to upgrade first and then power-ups so let's discuss a bit the power-ups there are really a few of them that are good if you search on the internet you're gonna find guides uh, and really a lot of stuff when people really explain to you what every power-up does and what are the best uh the best upgrades so well first of all uh offensively so power-ups that you can use 
and that can help you offensively. There are three of them that I think are the best ones. So, super shots, um, turbo boost, and explosive shots. Uh, these are, th I think, there are three most efficient offensive uh, power ups that you can get. Uh, then as actives so as power-ups that you're gonna have to click to activate well i think um well sunblast here is really good especially the damage over time effect and then what else mm. and i think uh, well there are a lot of um, Super Monkey, a Fan Club, and uh, the Vortex Trap. They are both, I think, well, they are fine. They're not so cool, but the other activated uh, upgrade, the other activated power-ups are really crap. For example, this one here is a crap, Snap Freeze. Uh, then also here, Absolute Zero really doesn't is not really helpful because yeah of course it freezes and the balloons go slow but yeah there isn't much use of that then also swipe really bad blowback really bad uh, so yeah and then for power-ups well to farm there are just a few power-ups uh, of course the best of them is a uh, uh, gold rush and uh, hidden treasure if you combine these two here, you get a lot of red blobs and blue blobs. But you can also combine, for example, Red Rush to the level that has the most blobs in the game, that is level 61. You can combine also Red Blobs, Red Rush and Hidden Treasure. Uh, of course, it's less effective because it's only gonna give you red blobs and a lot less red blobs than just than gold rush uh, but well if you if you have a lot of hidden treasures and red rushes go for that and uh, well as i said before the magnet is really helpful for uh, if you replay levels over and over to uh, well not only collect blobs easier but especially to get the 100 percent blobs collected so you can achieve the the, the achievement and uh, yeah so all the other power-ups i mean tag team also can be good well depends on the situation for example with some challenges is really cool otherwise well it's not so strong then also lucky charm is a pretty crappy upgrade until you get it in uh, rank 4 because at rank 4 you're guaranteed to get a 3 star power up but the lucky charm itself is a 3 star power up so uh, it's not really cool but well otherwise there are Sinjin shots also okay uh, red or haura okay uh, never missing targeting and bouncy shots also okay um what else then and also if you're replaying um levels and you got a lot of epic uh upgrades other cooldowns is the one that you're gonna need to get diamond because in many levels some balloons just are passed so quickly that um you don't have really the time to pop them and that's where other cooldowns is a uh, uh, in hand because at rank 4 the epics recharge 80% faster that means that you can use the epics almost continuously and uh, if you think about for example the how it's called the the spiky chaos you can use spiky chaos over and over so even if the spikes are still in the screen covering almost everything of the screen you can use it again and that's why other cooldown in my opinion is the best 
power up you can get to achieve diamond in levels but you can also use other power ups to achieve diamond for example uh, combine uh, bouncy shots with super shots or better combine uh, bouncy shots with turbo boost uh, in this way the projectiles are gonna bounce and uh, you're gonna have also all the screen covered by the projector so it's like having a permanent spiky chaos and that's it really these I think the best power-ups and as concerns the super monkeys I think it's pretty clear that the best upgrades for the left and right arm are the crouchy monkeys because the recharge is fast the duration is really long and the crouchy monkey is gonna pop the balloons automatically wherever they appear on screen of course there is a little delay because they well they jump through the all the screen right but i think it's the most efficient power up especially when balloons uh, comes out in when balloons come out in those really hard places like for example bottom right or bottom left and you can even see them while the crunchy monkey can still see them and they can pop them so crunchy monkeys also is a, i think is a must if you want to achieve diamond if uh, in one of the hardest levels and uh, yeah well the core here i prefer spiky chaos because it um it helps me killing popping all the balloons when they are uh, there are a lot of them or when they appear just for a short period of time uh, but well there are also mob is cool because it is not a really expensive upgrade and uh, it destroys instantaneously all the balloons in screen of course these are just a one one use and the cooldown loss is pretty long but in those levels where just at the end for example there are a lot of balloons all together you can use a mop to destroy all of them so that's one thing uh, and then yeah i mean for the left and right arms there aren't really good upgrades other than crunchy monkey because dark ace and side winder ace are pretty crappy the phoenix while well, doesn't do any damage to ceramics so it's in uh, hard levels in high levels it's pretty useless and this doom gauntlet is just the i think it's the worst upgrade in the game it's the worst epic because you have just a, like for example this big gauntlet and you need to touch the balloons to pop them yeah it does a lot of damage but it's crap uh the yeti really really bad if you don't have any uh, ice weapons that can interact with the freeze of the yeti the yeti is gonna is gonna be useless because it's gonna freeze the balloons the balloons are not gonna be moving anymore and you're gonna be uh, losing them so not a really cool upgrade and then for the storm monkey the thunder wings i haven't tried them so i don't know how they are I haven't seen anyone use them too but I think that uh, instead of in the arm you get this giant wing very likely the gauntlet but it's a wing and uh, it pops balloons well but the only bad thing is that uh, storm weapons can pop glass and uh, leads no it wasn't leads uh, glass and no nope. glass and lead yeah glass and lead so there are a lot of well not so many leads but a lot of glass blooms especially in the last levels so that's it really i have all the monkeys here in rank five five stars even though as you can see here i don't have all the epics but slowly i'm gonna get everything so that's really it for this quick recap about this game I'm trying here I've reached round 60 I think uh, 
I have played every level at least twice. So if you see me, uh, I got 50 diamonds medals. So I think that's okay. I got still this levels here, for example, level 32, when there are like one or two balloons that I can't pop. I've tried them so many times and always one or two balloons just leak and I can't get diamond. It's really frustrating, but whatever. And uh, also in 25, also the mob round, I can't, uh, I can't pop all the balloons. Even with other cooldowns, even with everything, I can't. And well, that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick video and see ya in my next. Bye bye.